All right, last time we were here looking at Zorb, we had just put in some links and we we're showing you the, I was showing you the difference between doing something that was on screen versus, excuse me, hide on phone versus show on phone. And so we had two different sets of navigations. I decided that I wanted the more extensive navigation to show on um, the desktop and tablets, but when you get down to phone size, I only want three of the links shown, and those are illustrated here. Um, this part, we're going to work on two things quickly. We're going to work on creating a modal and uh, re-looking at how to set up your rows and columns and so on and so forth and how that kind of works. So let's look at the first part. We have, if you notice in here, we have rows, and of course we have our columns. Whenever you have your rows, you know, row is obviously your complete horizontal. Your columns are your vertical. So for every one row, you can have as many columns as you want as long as they add up to 12. Okay? So if I were to say replace these panels here and let me zoom in on these a little bit so it will be a little easier for you to see okay so we have uh, four columns in here what well, it's four columns but actually it's gonna basically add up to for three columns, four is the four is the width. So in other words, we're gonna have three items in here to add up to a total of twelve. <clears throat> so in this, I'm gonna put in an image uh, source and I have images file, and I'm just gonna drop some quick images in here just so you get an idea of what we want. Okay. I'm going to put an alt just for it's a good habit. Venture one. Okay and actually let me add an H2 or something as well. Spinning. Here we go. I actually don't know what these uh, ones are. In, these images are in here. Well, I mean, I do know what they are, but it's been a while since I've seen them. So, let's copy that out. Just drop them in here, and then I'll just replace them with different images and different text. Uh, I have a three. I have a two. And we'll change these to, I can't remember what it is. Let's call whatever. Whatever. What, whoop, whatever. Two. All right, so we have the basics in here. And as you can see, one row and four columns in here to, that adds up to 12. Let's... I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Check that. Oh, yeah, of course I want to save it. So. All right. So now, as you can see, let me zoom out a little bit more. Now I have my two, my, excuse me, my three pictures in here. And they fit nicely in that 12 column uh, in here. Because remember, our grid on this side, excuse me, this, this here, is add up to eight total this is four inside of those four because these are basically nested rows and nested columns this is completely across so you still have to use 12 so 12 columns will fit into this one row of here with the eight columns okay and once we start to shrink that down to something more reasonable 
you notice that they stacked on top of each other and they got larger. That's in this regards, it was nice to have um, some decent quality images so that when they scaled up to fit on like a tablet size, they scaled up and they still looked pretty nice. Okay, and they stacked on top of each other and filled their thing. But when we go back to regular size, desktop size, they just sit beside each other, which again, very convenient. All right, let's look at let's look at doing a modal right quick. I'm going to use one of these pre-existing ones that are in here just to make our the coding a little bit faster. Zoom in here. And as you can see, what we basically have is I'm going to take this existing div right here and I'm going to actually I really don't need the four columns for a modal because it's basically going to be hidden until the modal is revealed. So it doesn't make a difference as far as where the columns are or which one it's in because it's going to expand and contract based on the size it's going to uh, well actually it, it's going to show up in the middle you don't have to worry about where it's going to be in this regard so I'm going to get rid of this div here I'm not excuse me, not get rid of the div, get rid of the class drop it in ID Oop. Yeah. Uh, drop it in an ID and I'm just going to call this my modal. Oh, actually, you see I had done this before, the same one, but it's on a different page, so it will make a difference. Uh, my modal. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to one of these other buttons that I have here. Here we go. we got a nice blue button here. Class. Now, the only thing you need to do is drop in a... Uh, excuse me, a data ID, let's see, of course, as I'm trying to remember, I'll have a hard time remembering, data ID, this is where it comes in handy when you're forgetting these things to uh, make sure you have the documentation in front of you or a past example, and again, all this stuff is here in the uh, Zurb Foundation under documentation, and our reveal is the modal that comes with it and so you see on the modal I've got a my modal dropped in I'm gonna uh, yeah grab that class for reveal my modal it's the only class you need um, all right and You got a little JavaScript in here. And again, there's actually a lot of uh, different things you can put on. There's a lot of different parameters, especially when you start getting into the, the orbit. Um, but for right now, we'll just take the base one. And we're going to grab the data reveal ID that you need for my modal. And obviously, we're going to change it to the proper name because it's not my modal 2. It's my modal on this one, but that's okay. Yeah, where's my nice blue button right here? Let's just drop right there. Who cares? All right, my modal. Okay. And as you can see in here, the JavaScript is extremely short. Just basically on the document ready, uh, the ID. Um, you want the, the button for the modal, uh, whatever its ID is, to make sure that it reveals the right one. So, and again, you could do it by, you could do a whole bunch of different things in here. And again, this is just. Got my JavaScript at the bottom here. Okay. Button one. Reveal my modal. Back up here. ID. Button one. Help if I can type. All right, save it and relaunch that bad boy. And as you can see, these this one below now disappeared. Remember that was there before. Now we'll click up, ah, and here is our modal. Pretty simple. All right. 
Now, actually, if you notice on that one, you can click on the outside and close it, or there's another parameter where you can put a button in here. So, all right, so that's all we're going to cover today. Good luck again. I'll be back next time, and we'll look at the orbit um, rotator. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.